friends, hello everyone, welcome back to another Lua tutorial, or should I rather say love to the tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we worked on being able to read this score, if I'm not mistaken. In this tutorial, we'll be doing the game over screen. So to give you an idea of what we'll be doing, here we go, we say start new game. Just wait for that asteroid to come back. And then one last time for our last health right here at the top. Our last life. We crash. Oh gosh. Missed it completely. And then we get a nice fading game over screen. And it fades out. And after it fades out, we get new game. So, first of all, I would like us to go to this menu file right here. Or not menu, I meant to say main. And here at the bottom, where we say game.state.menu and game.state.running and paused, whatnot, we want to add one more else if. We want to go else if game.state.ended. So if the game state has ended, then we can just say game colon draw because it has to now draw the game ended state but game will already know what state it is cool now currently this won't really do much if we were to run the game we currently have and we were to test it out here we go oh gosh missed it oh this one has a bad collision then as you can see, we just get a dark screen. We don't really go anywhere, nothing's happening because the game over state doesn't really have anything to draw yet. So let's actually add that. We can open up our game state and we can start here at the top. Underneath high score, we can add screen text. And the screen text is just a table that will display the text on the screen once we go to game in that state. This will remove it and add it and whatnot. Then we need to add a, another variable here saying game over showing. And this is for the animation. So we know when the game over is showing and when it is not showing. So we know when to switch from showing the game over state screen to showing the menu state screen. So that can be false by default. Next here in change game state, we can go if self.state.ended, so if the state has ended, then we can call the self game over function. Now this game over function is what we're going to create now. Basically, it's going to do all of the game over stuff for us. So let's go here and say game over over that's a function which takes in self and first we can set up the screen text or the text that should be on the screen so self dot screen text is equal to a text component which contains the game over text which will fade in and out you could also maybe do the same and then also display the high score and the player score also fading in and fading out or whatnot something along those lines that could also be a very smart idea however we're going to keep it simple and just do the game over screen just game over and then poof done we can say zero love dot graphics dot get height times it by 0 0.4 to kind of get it in the middle, in the center, because you remember how fonts are used. It's not necessarily starting in the middle of the font as well. It starts here at the top. So every letter has a top point and it starts there instead of in the middle. So you should just take note of that. It can be size of H1 because it should basically take all of the attention. It's the most important. And say true, true, love dot graphics and then get get width and then center now if you're wondering what any of this means you can always just go back to this text file right here and just look at what all of these mean 
you'll notice our fade in and fade out right here is now set to true. Nothing else is basically set like this. So this is the first time we'll be really using this fade in and out functionality. Then after we have done that, we can just say self dot game over showing and we can make it equal to true because it's currently showing the game over. If it's not showing the game over and the game state is ended, then we should know that we want to switch from game state ended to game state menu because it's not showing game over screen and the state has ended so there's no point in showing it anymore. Now currently this won't do too much. Then right here inside of the main.lua we can just reduce the amount of lives the player currently has. So player and it takes the lives. So num lives and we just make that one. Now if we run it we should be able to see our output. Now it should work. We say start new game. We uninstall life.exe and boom. That is all we get. So not really anything just yet. So let's go down here. Because currently I didn't really think about it but this doesn't really draw to the screen. So we put the text there but we never actually drew the text. So let's go do that inside of this draw function. And let's go right underneath faded. We can then say for index text in pairs self dot screen text. And we can say if self dot game over showing then and now here we want to draw all of the things while the game over is showing. So self dot game over showing is then equal to text colon draw self dot screen text so it's going to draw the text that should be on the screen and then we can just say index if we're wondering what's going on here we can go here to text if we go to draw we take in the table text and then its current index you'll notice return true or false that's how we know if we're supposed to show it or not. If it returns false, it's not currently drawing anything to the screen. If it returns true, it is drawing something to the screen. And if you plan on adding more things here, you should just modify this a teeny bit. So it can be able to do this more dynamically because currently it's good for one thing, but if you have two or three things, it's not going to be that great. Anyhow, then you can say if not self dot game over showing then so if the game over is not showing then self colon change game state and we're going to change it back to the menu state and then otherwise is the game over state isn't showing then we can just say else text draw self dot screen text and an index so this will basically start it off it will start to draw so yeah that is about that which we'll need. I don't think we'll need any more. So let's try and run this and see what we get. If we just drag this here, so everyone can see, start new game and end. Then we start getting a fading out game over screen. Thanks to everything we have already implemented and why I did so much work at the start of the game. We don't have to do a lot now because we've already implemented fading in and fading out. And that is for the game over screen in Love 2D. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next Love 2D tutorial.